The best way to learn how to program PLCs is get your hands dirty, well, I guess dirty of electrons, and get into the software. So first, we want to select a PLC programming software that is popular in our location. And you will not find that on my channel. You will not find that on Reddit. You will not find it on whatever your popular social media is. Go and look at help wanted ads in your area. Go and talk to people who are already working in the industry in your area. But then find a free download of it and go ahead and install it and open it up and start working with it. Eventually, you're going to need some hardware. But just start going through the instruction categories and start understanding what those instructions are. When I say understanding, that doesn't mean that you know what the acronym means. That means you know exactly what it does when it's true and exactly what it does when it's false. And you understand it inside and out. And once you understand that instruction, you go to the next instruction. Once you've got all those categories done, go to the next category. And keep doing that until all of a sudden you're going to hit a spot where you're going to be like, well, I don't know what this instruction would even be used for. Okay, now we need to go figure out how we can use these. And yeah, there's where Google can be your friend. The control forms can be your friend. But yeah, you want to find practical applications that you would see these used to. As you walk up to a machine, one, make sure you understand the difference between upload and download, but upload every single program you can from the PLC and see how other programmers had done it because there's no right or wrong way to program, but we need to understand all the different varieties that we're going to see out in the field. 